hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you how i achieved these evil eye nails so if you're interested just keep on watching i am going to start off the same way i always do with prepping by pushing back the cuticles and then i'm just going to go in with my cuticle bit and clean up the cuticles before i remove the shine with my fine sanding band and i am going to be using both of these drill bits, um, the e-file at 5,000 rotations per minute. I'm just making sure that the nails fit sidewall to sidewall and filing them down if need be and to prep all the nails I did etch underneath as well as around the cuticle area on the top of the nail.
Also, if your nails are always lifting and you follow all the other steps, then make sure that you are dusting off the nail like I did there, um, just to make sure you get any excess dust off, because I know that can cause lifting. Um, and now I'm just going in with my dehydrator and primer. And I am using the Young Nails Protein Bond. I don't recall which dehydrator I use, but I don't find that any one works any better than any other. You can just use whatever you have or just alcohol. Now I'm just going in with a layer of extend gel on the natural nail. Um, I see some people don't do this step, so if you have done it without this step, then let me know below if it worked fine for you or if you um, always make sure that you do this step just because it makes a difference in your application or your retention. And then I cure this for 30 seconds and then I'll just go in with my nail. I'll apply the extend gel on the entire etched part and then I'll apply the excess that's left on the brush um, just depending on how much I think I need. And then I'll go in and apply it at a 45 degree angle to the natural nail press down slowly and then once the gel has reached the free edge then I'll press my foot pedal for the lamp this is the XVX hands-free UV lamp and I'm just gonna flash care this for 10 to 15 seconds and then repeat the same steps with all the nails and then cure the whole hand in the normal size UV lamp for the full 60 seconds
And if you apply too much gel like I did here, you can just go in while still applying the pressure with a cleanup brush dipped in acetone and just wipe it away. Um, if you don't do that, then it'll just stay hard and you can file it away. But you do want to limit the amount of gel exposure to your skin so you don't get any allergic reaction or contact dermatitis. Now I'm just going in with a 100-100 grit file to reshape the nails. And then I'm gonna go in with my sanding band and just clean up the cuticle area of any spillage as well as buff the entire nail to prepare for polish. Now I'm just going to brush off the nails to remove any excess dust as well as wipe them with a lint-free wipe dipped in acetone and then I'm just going to go in with the polish.
And now I'm just going in with a liner brush to create the French. And I did do two coats of all the polish and the designs, so I just cure in between each coat. Now for these swirls, I'm still using the same detailing brush and I'm just doing a swirl however I see fit. I am gonna do two coats of it and if I need to clean up anything, I'm just gonna use the same cleanup brush dipped in acetone. Now I'm just going in with my dotting tool to create the base of the evil eye. Um, I was only going to do two, but then later decided to do four. Um, so that's why there's only two on here now. But I'm just going to go in with each color, cure it, and then go in with the next color, and so on until it is complete. Thank you. 
Now for the crystals, I was trying to use my Zule uh, nail adhesive, but I could not get it open even with pliers. So I'm just using X Den Gel, and I just put on the black one, and then cured it, and then the clear cured, and then the final blue layer and cured it. And then after that, I'm just gonna go in with my top coat and my cuticle oil, and then it's all done. I really, really love this set. Um, it means so much to me. So let me know down below if you guys like it or what you would have done different. And I will see you guys in the next video. Also make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And make sure your post notifications are turned on because I do post sporadically. And if you don't have them on, then you will miss me. Um, however, I do promise I will be more consistent. I do have three videos coming out very soon. So subscribe to my channel and turn on my notifications so you can be the first one notified as soon as I post. I'll tell